Hey guys, so um, this is a prayer for the church, and um, I was actually praying, and then I was told to write it down, so I started writing it down, and then I kept praying throughout the day, and I kept being told to write it down, and then at the end, I was told to present it to you. Now, I want to clarify that there's lots of different kinds of prayer, okay? So there's some that you're just like aggressively asking for healing or for um, someone to come to the Lord, okay? And there's others that are just kind of something heavy on your heart, like God will put it on you, he'll wake you up, he'll give you something to pray about, and you just have to pray about it. Sometimes you have to sit there and allow the Holy Spirit to just do some communication for you. And um, you you keep praying until you have peace about that topic, whatever it is. Um, this kind of prayer I have occasionally where I start to pray and then it's like the Holy Spirit starts training me how to speak the way God would prefer to be um, spoken to. I do not always pray this formally, okay? Um, I started praying years ago that I would be taught to pray in the way that the Lord wanted to hear it because I understand that the Holy Spirit can translate what we mean into how God would like to hear it. So if we are kind of too sassy or not respectful enough, he will kind of make those adapt adaptations so that it's not offensive to God. But I started praying that I would learn how to pray directly so I don't have to have as much translation, I guess. Anyway, so in this process, um, since we are together via video, um, where two or three are gathered, um, Jesus is in the midst of us. So we are here on this global platform and um, I'm going to read what I ended up writing throughout the day. It was several hours, like from, so it was like 6 a.m. to like 2 p.m. So when I read this, I'm just going to show pictures because, you know, it's kind of awkward me just reading a prayer. I think that's weird, but whatever. So understand this. You are not supposed to be copying this prayer. You're not supposed to be trying to... Um, say it like it's a ritual or something, memorize it, none of that. This is just supposed to be communicated to you that I, A, am praying over the church and B, that you um, might pick up a few tips on um, how the Lord wants to be spoken to. Um, you will notice repetitions in certain things because as the Holy Spirit laid it on my heart at a different time of day, it might be the same topic. I, you know, will repeat different things. Um, and I kept praying about this until I felt like everything was settled and at peace and everything was good. And that's why it's such a long time period that I was praying. It's not really that long to read this, but it's a long period of time in which it all occurred. Okay. Um, so if you feel like you want to be prayed over now that the kings have cast out their darkness and you want to be protected or if you want to learn how to pray differently this is what this video is for okay it's not for everyone and I'm not at all claiming this is the only way to pray or this is the right way to pray or whatever you know just that's not at all the intention I was just told to put this out and I'm putting it out okay so prayer for the church God the highest on the lofty mountain you are above all and you see all as the darkness rises you lord can see from on high you protect the righteous you are our god of salvation you are the power above all praise the lord god almighty let me sit in your presence let me sit in your grace let me sit in your counsel as the storms rage all about me, may I be found in your perfect presence, filled with your mighty protection and power. I am a child of the Lord God Almighty, and I stay under your protective mighty wing. Please bring peace to the animals around me. Please surround me in your full power and keep me from the enemy's efforts. May your power frustrate the enemy May our collective prayers for each other in your mighty power discombobulate the enemy. May we stay strong and mighty in your holy power. No weapon formed against us can stand because of your mighty hand. 
Through the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ, the Lord, the King, your grace allows us to come to you. Your loving kindness directs our way and provides for our needs. May you and your protection keep us safe from evil and their reach. Thank you for your mighty angels and for their unrelenting presence and protections. Please give them full authority and release their full power over us to protect us from what is to come upon the earth. You are the Lord God Almighty, the creator of all. We graciously thank you for all we have come to learn, to provide and prepare us for what is to come. Grant us discernment and help us to hear your mighty voice in its peaceful, calm tone that we can only hear when we have silence. Help us to always listen and obey you. May we allow your spirit to guide us as we seek to put you first and serve you with all we have to give. Help us to give more than we have in every phase and provide the energy and extra needed efforts in order to finish our tasks. Whatever is asked of us, let us be bold. And if it is difficult and we think we cannot do it, help us to recall you are the power. Thank you that no task is impossible through your joy and power. We have success in our feeling of defeat when we turn it all over to you. Help us defeat the enemy with your full power. Please teach us to pray and teach us to hear your voice so we can lead others to you and stay within your mighty protections. Help the church to work together in unity. May the church remember its humility and love and work together with the purpose kept in sight to drop all of self for the good of reaping in the harvest. Let us work together like a team of horses pulling in the same direction. Please shut the minds of the false prophets for they offer confusion and fear. Please stop the voices of the pastors who, they, who teach heresy. When the bombs fall, spare only churches who will honor you and bring others to an understanding of your grace and how to become sanctified in your word. Help them to teach it correctly as you see fit. Give those pastors the ability to say the words that open hearts, to have the ability to bring people into sanctification. Please open the eyes of the blinded and remove their shackles and bonds from the evil one. As Christianity becomes made illegal, give those pastors boldness and protections as they preach the word on your solid ground to help people find you. Help us with loved ones who simply cannot hear the dance or understand your glory and your majesty and who cannot see your call to be sanctified. Open their ears, open their eyes, open their hearts. Allow them to properly come to you and respond to your call that we humbly offer. These requests, please hear our cry in your presence. You, the author of life, May you grant the grace of bringing these requests to pass. We pray this prayer in bold confidence that you will bring them to pass and that you will do what you have said you will do. Providing for our needs and for our desires that align with your purposes. Grant us your perfect peace. Bind all distractions from us. In the name of your Son, Jesus, we ask these things through the power of his blood. We know your power is available. Do not bring us to shame. Do not allow us to bring shame upon you by failing to have full faith in our requests. God, the darkness, it is distressing at times, but we know they are defeated already. Their days are numbered. They will lose. We know this by your power and your promises. We stand in your truth. We know when we ask anything in the name of Jesus that nothing can stop us and that their defeat is final. We know we are few and they are millions, but our requests are strong 
and you are the Lord of the righteous. You have more power than they. Because Jesus conquered death, we cannot lose. They are defeated already. We claim the victory now. Let us not fall prey to their efforts, but always call down your mighty power to defeat them. They are unable and not as strong as you. They are unable and as strong as a mouse compared to your holy power. Nothing can defeat you when we tap into your holy power. A vi the victory is ours. Their days are but few. May we fight with love and kindness and spread your love while we walk. Good always overcomes evil. May you use us to be beacons of your light. Protect us for your service. Do not allow the enemy to have any touch at all over yours. May we be pain-free, stress-free, and completely trust in you as you provide your provisions and protections for us, Lord. As you send us out for your works, may we go humbly and boldly. Allow none of us to make you look like a fool. Help us to remember how to properly call down your power. Like Elijah, may you, the Lord God Almighty, be not made a fool, but elevated among all. And may the sorcerers of evil be made fools. Please blind them and confuse them. Confuse their efforts and help them to not be effective against your people. May they be confused and stopped. May all of ours be covered and blessed. Have us to be your witnesses in true love and bring your full power in true faith and shame the world through us. That you are the one and you show the world through us that you are the one and only, that your power supersedes all. Even those with their power in darkness they have learned to acquire powers by the evil one. Help us to stand in truth firmly and overcome their powers. Help us to start a revival for you. The coming of the multitudes for you. Please limit, destabilize, and disrupt the evil and their plans by the love and grace that are about to rock this world. Help us through our prayers and mighty powers of your angels Help us to destroy the rulers of dominions so that the weaker demons have no power or leadership and are easily plucked off the earth and taken to the pit. Prepare the hearts of those that need you. Our God is superior to all powers of darkness that exist. We cannot fail. We are strong in you. In each community, I pray that you shine your wonders, keeping your own in a safety bubble, one that defies logic, Simultaneously, Lord, please confuse and defeat the plans of the evil ones. Through each phase of this process, as the world comes to an end, as we help turn hearts to you, may the Antichrist be left with his kings and so few to rule over that it's comically sad. Lord, help the eyes of those that need to see and the feet of those that cannot hear the spirit and move rapidly to his directions. Please bring them the confidence that your voice is to be heard and obeyed. Please bring in a mighty harvest for your kingdom, Lord, that none may suffer the eternal fire and save all who will be saved. You have said that the Antichrist magician, the one that allows him his success, will turn to you. Bless the name of the Lord God Almighty, for it has already been seen and done. Lord, please use this to thwart the plans of the enemy, weaken them for their defeat. We love you and thank you for your promises and protections. There is none like you. There is no one like you. There could be no one that could keep the themes of the Bible for 6,000 years throughout history. You and you alone are to be thanked for your justice. Thank you for Jesus. He is a great gift and a comfort that he provided your selfless loving kindness for us. We praise you and thank you for allowing us to be part of your family. God, may Jesus reign on the earth come quickly 
and may all the earth rejoice at the amazing works to unfold. We trust all you have told us. We trust you have our backs. Gratefully, you hear us and use us. All praise be to you, the Lord God Almighty. May you find us in joy and singing your praises when you send for us, no matter what rages on about us. Let us praise you in the morning, at noon, and at night, and every time in between, for you are worthy of it all. Keep us in your perfect peace. We ask this in your holy name and in the name of your Son, Jesus, the Christ. Amen. So I hope that encourages you, and um, see you next time.